Wang knocked on door and after a few minutes, door got opened. Let's go. You wake up right now. She asked with turned face. Hmm, can you make coffee for me? I'm not interested. Go make your coffee, enjoy your time and then come call it. I'm going. I don't want to get insult again because of you. Bye. She proceeded to walk but he held her hand and pulled her inside his apartment. What? Yeah, leave me. Make coffee. I will quick and I won't let you get insult in class. He ran towards his bedroom and she sighed while shaking her head. Come fast. She shouted and went towards kitchen. Are you done? She cleared him. I told you to come fast. She put a sandwich and a mug coffee on table. Mm, hey, hey, I was taking shower. He took sandwich and finished that in two bites. Mm, it's yum. I was hungry. First eat and then speak. She headed out of his apartment. He gulped down a glass of water and took a coffee mug and ran behind her. How was the ride? She didn't listen to him and ran inside college. He signed went to park his bike. Hey, wait for me. He slowed his pace. Hey, hi. He smiled at her and went took a glance of him. Why you both are standing here? All the class of first period got cancelled. Professor's meeting is happening. Oh, okay. I'm going library. Will you come? She asked to whine and she shook her head. No, I have some questions to solve. Oh, okay then. See you later. Hmm. Uh, I have to take a book. So I will come library. Okay, let's go. He nodded his head. She walked ahead and he followed her while one stand there and kept looking at them until they got disappeared from her sight. She sighed slightly and went towards her classroom. Move. Wine took a glance of him and gave him place to sit. How was your time? Did you talk to her? Not that too much. She was busy with book. Wine hummed and focused on her book. Did you solve all questions? She nodded. Give me your notebook. I will copy. Solve by yourself. I don't have time. Please give me. Then you should have solved questions instead of going library. I wanted to spend some time with her. Now give me your notebook. Please, can't you do this for your best friend? Wine sighed pushed her notebook towards him. You are best. He started writing and she stared him. By the way, Julie's birthday is coming. So we will go on shopping today. I need to buy a gift for her. She looked away from him. Will you go in her birthday party? Of course I'll go. What if she called the guy there whom she likes? His hands stopped and he gulped. She told you she likes someone else. So you should. I, I don't want to give up this soon. I will confess her on her birthday. You really love her, hmm. She bit her lower lip and nodded her head. Oh, okay, do as you think good. How I am looking, idiot. He glared her and she giggled. She will be impressed. Hmm, thank you for helping me in getting ready. From when sorry and thank you came between us. He scratched back of his head. Anyway, you should go. Will you really not come? I, I told you my health is not okay. He sighed and nodded. She was looking pale. Should I stay with you? What if your health get worse? She shook her head. No, you go. It's your love's birthday and you should be with her. I will just sleep, but just go. He sighed and nodded his head. Okay, call me if your health get worse. She nodded her head slightly and he headed out of her apartment. She locked door and slid down on the floor. It hurts a lot, Jungkook. She pressed her hand on her chest near her heart. One side love hurts a lot. Her tears start dripping and she hugged her knees and snuggled her face between her knees. Jungkook's hand clenched on glass when he saw Juri dancing with a boy. She was looking very happy with him and it was hurting Jungkook. He gulped on alcohol and asked for more. 
He continued drinking until he was completely wasted. Hey, Jungkook. She tapped on his cheek and he hummed, he's completely drunk. Call Wine and tell her to pick him. No, her health is not good. We should not disturb her. I will drop him. But the plan was spending time together. I, I will be right back. You get fresh. I will drop him. Okay, Yeonjun hold Jungkook's hand and pulled him up. Be careful. Hmm. He went out of house and she called wine. Hey, Jungkook got drunk. Oh, is he completely wasted? Hmm. And Yeonjun went to drop him. Okay, how is your health? I'm fine. Hmm. Take care and check on him once. Hmm. Good night. Wine hung up the call and went to wash her face before going out of her apartment. Hey, Wine came to wash his car. What happened to you and why were you not answering my calls? Just a little headache. Did you take medicine? Wine nodded her head and looked at Jungkook whose eyes were closed and he was mumbling something. I will take him. Let me bring him. He's very heavy. He complained and Wine chuckled slightly. Yunjun take out Jungkook from his car and Wine hold his arm. Tell him to not drink this much. It's not good for health. Hmm. Take care. Good night. Hmm. Drive safely. Yunjun nodded and went out of Jungkook's apartment. Wine looked at Jungkook and went to take off his shoes. He mumbled and Wine gulped after understanding what he is saying. She took off his shoes and sat on the floor beside him. She stared at him for some time and then placed a kiss on his forehead. Good night. She kissed his cheek and then got up from the floor. She took his last glance and went out of his apartment. Good morning. She slid curtains and Jungkook squeezed his eyes while pressing his hand on his head. Why did you drink that much? Should I complain to auntie? He didn't say anything and got up from couch. I will make breakfast for you. Get fresh fast or else we will get late for college. Leave that. I won't go college today. Why? What happened? I just want to sleep. You go. But... You will get late. You go. He went inside his bedroom and shut the door. She signed thought to make hangover soup for him. Here, drink this. It will make you feel good. He opened his eyes. I'm going to sleep till very late, okay? He hummed and she went out. He sighed again, closed his eyes. Jungkook, Jung, hey, you are still sleeping. She went to his bed and saw hangover soup was untouched. She sighed. Jungkook, get up. She held his hand and he opened his eyes. What is this behavior? Huh? What happened to you? Why are you lying like this? I want to sleep. Leave me alone. It's going to be evening. You slept whole day and still want to sleep, huh? Get up. She hold his hand and tried to pull him. Get up, you idiot. You are heavy. He sighed and got up. Now be a good boy and take a shower. I will cook for you, okay? I'm not hungry. She sighed and sat on bed. What happened? Won't you tell me? She asked him softly and he looked down. Juri loves Yeonjun. He bite her lower lip. Oh, so this was the reason you drink that much. He didn't say anything and she sighed. Okay, get fresh first, then we will think what we should do, okay? Get up now. She tried to pull him. Jungkook, Ace, why are you this much sad? It's her loss that she chose that Yeonjun over you. You are far better than him. She tried to cheer his mood, but it was useless. Jungkook, she again sat beside him and hold his hand. When please leave me alone. You won't understand how it feels to left heart broken. She bite her lower lip after hearing that and her hand moved away from him. Hmm, I I can't understand your pain. She got up from bed. Don't stay empty stomach for a long time. She went out and he again laid on bed. Wine was sitting in her balcony and she was staring sky blankly. Hey, you are here. He came there and sat beside her. Did you have dinner? 
Not yet. Great, then let's get drunk. She looked at him and saw he brought chicken and so so. I don't have mood, but I have, so give me company. She stared at him and he pushed chicken towards her. Let's start. What happened now? Why are you here? Didn't you want it to be alone? I'm sorry for ugly. He saw his puppy eyes. Please don't be angry on me. She looked away from him. See, I drink that hangover soup and I even took a shower. Don't act in front of me. His fake cheerful expression dropped and he sighed. It hurts. She bite her lower lip. Don't worry, you will move on soon and you will find someone who will love you so much. I don't think I can move on. She didn't say anything and they sat in silence for some time. He wasn't sewing but he was looking sad and she hates this the most. She hates seeing him sad. Jungkook, hmm? did you told her about your feelings? No, before that she announced her relationship. Oh, then you should not give up and try to show her how much you love her. Or if you will want, I will kidnap her for you. She joked and laughed to light his mood. What do you say? He didn't say anything and she said, don't be sad like this. He took a deep breath and nodded his head. Hmm. Okay, let's drink. She pushed a bottle towards him and left one for herself. Cheers. Hey, why? Jungkook. She waved towards them and they looked towards her. Hi. Hi. How are you? Jungkook. Hi. Mm, don't drink that much. That will affect your health. He nodded his head slightly. Okay, then see you at lunchtime. Mm, bye. Bye. She went towards her classroom and while looked at Jungkook. Let's go. You go. I will come in sometime. He went to his washroom and she sighed while looking at him. Here, this is for you both. She put cold coffee in front of Jungkook and Juri and took a seat on the table. Thank you. She extended her hand to take coffee and once keys went on her finger. Wow, your ring is very pretty. When did you bow? Yeonjoon gave me. She spoke highly and went by her lower lip and looked at Jungkook. She didn't mean to brought up that topic. She just asked casually thinking Juri about that ring. Hmm, his choice is good. I have asked him to buy me a bracelet but he denied and I never got that bracelet. But he, see here, he bought the most beautiful ring for his girlfriend. She choked in complaining way and Juri chuckled. He searched for that bracelet everywhere but couldn't find that. Oh, he did? Wow, I didn't knew my brother think about me. Juri chuckled and choked slightly, eat carefully. He extended water towards her. He looks worried for her and wants to hear him. He really loves her so much. Thank you. She flashed him a little smile and Jungkook looked away. Um, I'm done. I'll go. She left from there, leaving Juri and Jungkook in alone. Do you want eggs? No. He immediately shook his head. It's something bothering you. He looked at her after hearing that. I noticed you are looking lost. It's nothing. I drank last night, so my head is hot in Canada. Don't drink too much. It will affect your health. He noted his head and flashed a little smile. I saw them talking and left from there. What a weird situation it is. Hey, Jungkook. She stopped speaking when she saw him looking somewhere. She followed his gaze. Yunjun came to pick Juri and they were talking. She sighed slightly and went towards Jungkook. Jungkook. He looked at her and took a deep breath. Let's go home. I, I need to go to dad's office, so I'm going. You go home. He walked away. It was obvious he was avoiding her. Maybe he doesn't want others to see he's sad. One look to us, Juri. She's lucky. He loves her so much while he, no matter what I do, he doesn't see my love for him. She chuckled sadly and walked away.
Why you came this late? Dad gave me some work. He went inside his apartment and she followed him. Are you avoiding me? He took a glance of her and shook his head. You drink again, right? He shook his head again and avoided looking at her. She sighed and went towards him. Chunko, she held his hand and made him face her. Until when you will live like this, you need to move on. You have a life idiot and there is a lot of people who loves you. She cuffed his cheek and looked straight into his eyes. You can't live like this. It will not help you. There is a lot of people in the world who left heartbroken and they learn to live. You also have to do that, right? He looked away from her. You are saying this because you don't know how painful it is loving someone who doesn't love you back. She bit her lower lip and looked away from him. Hmm, you are right. How I will know your pain. She chuckled sadly. He looked at her and found something odd in her eyes. Her gaze were holding some different emotion. I know I'm sad for the heartbreaking, but I didn't drink again because of that. Then why did you drink? She raised her eyebrow. Mm, I missed some work and dad scolded me. He scratched back of his and she blinked. You are sad and drink for that. He nodded and she raised her hand. He thought she is going to slap him, so he covered his face immediately and she ruffled his hair. I can't believe this. Man, are you for real? I worked so hard but still dad scolded me. Do, do you know how embarrassing it was? She stared at him in disbelief and blinked. Don't complain to mom about it. Please see, I will do anything you say. Just don't complain. And I think just a late. She said loudly. Did you eat? He nodded his head. Okay, go to sleep now. It's too much late. He nodded. Good night. Mm, good night. She went out of his apartment. He sat and dropped himself on couch. He took out his phone and opened gallery. He clicked on a picture and stared at. It was Juri's picture. Hey, fine, Jungkook. She came to us them. How are you both? We are fine. How are you? I'm also fine. Mm, here are your book. She extended a book to us Jungkook and one looked at him. His gaze were holding a lot of things while looking at Juri. And one looked away. Bye, see you at lunch time. Hmm. She walked away and Jungkook kept looking in her direction. She went. Huh? She went. Mm, yeah, let's go. He held her hand and started dragging her towards classroom. And one looked at the hand which he was holding. Hi. She sat on the dining table and took a glance of Jungkook. It's been seven months but still things are like before. Here, yeah, this is for you both. She put dessert in wine and Jungkook's plate. Thank you. Enjoy. They start eating and wine took a glance of Jungkook. She tried a lot to help him when he was in pain. She tried a lot to give him hint of her love but her every try went in vain. He never noticed her efforts and now she start losing hope. She didn't have courage to confess as she didn't want to lose her, his friendship. She knew about his love so there is high chance he will reject her. And after that rejection, things will not seem between them, which she doesn't want. So she decided to not tell him about her feelings. You are free today, huh? Where were you lost? When shook her head while taking a glance of Jungkook. Are you free after college? No, I have some work. Why? I wanted to go on shopping. I don't have any good clothes for party. There is time in party. We can go tomorrow. Okay, I'm done. She left from there and Jungkook looked at Wine. What happened to you? Huh? What will happen to me? You are looking lost from few days. Ah, oh, it's nothing. She flashed a fake smile and Jungkook stared her. He wasn't looking convinced. Did your dad say something? No, everything is fine. Don't worry. She flashed a fake smile and looked away. Hey! When opened her eyes, what happened to you? He touched her forehead and she sat on couch. Nothing, I'm fine. Then why did you deny it for hangout? I don't have mood, you go, alone. You can ask the young, but you know I only like hanging out with you. He bowed, mm, but you should trust new things. You know I want to be with you always. Who said that? We will always live together, okay? 
you know i can't survive without you he pulled her cheek he thought she will be angry on him for doing that but she didn't react why he sat on his knees in front of her and hold her hand what happened please tell me her heart clenched and she looked away is these behaviors are her weakness okay let's party in my apartment you know i brought few amazing wine from dad's collection he winked at her Jungkook I don't have I'm not listening anything you're coming with me he held her hand and dragged her with him and she sighed Try this I'm sure you will love he filled the glass for her thanks from Wayne sorry and thanks came between us she didn't say anything and gulped down the drink want more she nodded and he filled her glass No, you are completely drunk. She pouted and slowly blinked while looking at him. Her gaze was holding a lot of things and it raised Jungkook's heartbeat for some reason. You are bad. I hate you. She choked. You know it hurts. She pointed on her chest and his eyes widened. What happened? Are you sick? Are you hiding something from me? He panicked and moved towards her. She smiled and pushed him away. I will miss you. He frowned. Why? Where are you going? I don't know, but I will miss you. She fell on the couch and closed her eyes. Why? He tapped on her cheek and she hummed in faint voice. He sighed. I hope you will tell me what's bothering you. He lifted her and went out of her apartment. Both lives in neighborhood. Wine. Wine heard her name and turned around. A man in black attire was standing in front of her. He flashed a smile to her and took a step towards her. Hello, Jihoon. How are you, sweetheart? He stood close to her and she called. She was uncomfortable. I'm good. You are looking very pretty. Th- thanks. She flashed a fake smile. Why are you so nervous? Hmm? He lifted his hand to tug her hair, but her hand made grip on his hand. and stopped him what are you doing he was looking mad same question what are you doing huh he raised his eyebrow janko pulled one's hand and pulled her what are you doing mister huh janko gave him he was touching your hair if i'm not then who will touch her hair huh janko frown do you know him he's my friend she held janko's hand and pulled away from jihon Male friend, I'm against of it. He glared Jungkook. So does it that matter? Of course, that matters a lot. He grabbed Wan's waist and pulled her towards him. I don't want my fiance to have connection with any other male. Expect me, F- fiance. Now excuse us. Jungkook looked at Wan with questioning gaze. Come with me. He held her hand. Jungkook, see, he start dragging her with him, and Wan turned her head towards Jihoon. He was looking mad. What are you doing? Leave me. He left her hand and faced her. What was that? Huh? Why were you letting him touch you? She sighed. Because he has right to touch me. He's my fiance. What? See, why don't joke like this? I'm not joking. It's true. He's my fiance. Then why you didn't tell me about it earlier? I didn't got chance. You didn't got chance. Do you know what are you saying? He grabbed Wan's arm. He was looking mad. Jungkook, I didn't got chance. Now leave me. Your dad forcing you. Wan didn't say anything, and he said, "Let's go. We will talk to him. He can't force you like this. Let's go. We will tell him you won't marry that man." He held her hand and started dragging her, but she pushed his hand away, and he looked at her with questioning gaze. There is no use of that, and there is no need of that. But do you want to marry him? She sighed. Jungkook, it doesn't matter what I want, and what I will say when Dad will ask me the reason for not marrying him. Say you don't like him, and do you think Dad will cancel this marriage happily? Don't you know my dad? He has fixed my marriage, and now I have to marry, and I also want to start a new life. 
I'm tired of this life. To start a new life, you will marry anyone. Sid took a deep breath. I don't have my own liking, so there is nothing wrong in marrying the man who my dad chose for me. He stared at her and she looked away to avoid his gaze. I should go. He must be waiting for me. She immediately walked away from there and he messed his hair.